हेलो चिल्ड्रन नाउ गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर सेवन फिजिक्स दैट इज इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड मैग्नेटिज्म आई होप यू हैव डन क्वेश्चन आंसर ऑफ चैप्टर चैप्टर सिक्स दैट इज साउंड नाउ सी हियर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड मैग्नेटिज्म फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड मैग्नेट अबाउट मैग्नेट एंड इट्स प्रॉपर्टीज ओके वी वी नो दैट चिल्ड्रन दैट वी हैव रेड दैट the first magnet was discovered nearly 5000 years ago in a town called magnesia in greece now it is in turkey in the form of a rock it was called the lodestone it since it was capable of guiding the direction it was an ore of iron called uh, the magnetite the word magnet has been derived from the name of the town that is magnesia okay so the natural magnet the ore of lodestone being irregular in size and weak in magnetic strength was found to be not of much uh, not much of use therefore artificial magnet such as a bar magnet magnetic needle horseshoe magnet compass etc are made of for practical uses you can see here pictures magnet attracts the small pieces of iron it has a attractive property a magnet always test in the north south direction if it is suspended so as to swing freely it has the directive property children so there are the two properties first is attractive property of a magnet second is directive property of magnet you can see in picture so first attractive property the end of the magnet where the attractive property is maximum are called magnetic pole of the magnet and directive property Uh, if a magnet is suspended with a silk thread as shown in picture uh, from a wooden stand as shown in this picture the magnet swings for some time and then finally what will happen finally it will stop it will comes to rest in a particular direction that is not south direction if we disturb the magnet a little the magnet again comes to rest in the same north south direction at the end of the magnet which points towards the north is called the north seeking pole or simply the north pole and the end which in towards the south is called south pole so north and south poles are marked by the letters n and s respectively sometimes a red dot is etched on the north pole so in this manner properties of magnet is there are two properties attractive property and directive property understood attractive magnet attracts the magnetic material like iron steel cobalt nickel towards itself thus the property which enables a magnet to exert force of attraction on the magnetic material is known as the attractive property of a magnet okay some activities also given property of coexistence of poles also this third property property of coexistence of poles you can see every magnet has a north pole and a south pole it is possible to isolate the north pole from its south pole and both the poles coexist in a magnet when a magnet is broken down into various pieces each piece will behave as a bar magnet having a north and south pole the magnetic strength of a magnet is maximum at the poles and minimum at the center means center point the force of attraction is minimum okay north and south pole these two poles having maximum attraction magnetic strength and fourth one is like poles repel and unlike poles attract each other these are the properties important points is children you need to understand law of magnetism what is law of magnetism children you can see this picture 
Like poles repel and unlike pole attract. Two like poles, both north poles or both south poles, repel each other. Two unlike poles, north pole and other south pole attract each other. Repel means there is no attraction. Unlike poles attract each other. Means there would be attraction, magnetic attraction. This can be demonstrated by this picture. Like poles of magnet repel and unlike poles of magnet attract. You can see this picture. Uh, some activity also given here. Uh, activities is one. To test the magnetic nature of a metallic bar. Read. Okay. The important thing to understand uh, children. The repulsion is the surest test for a magnet. Repulsion is a true test for magnetism. This is because when... A magnet is brought near the another magnet will always attract another magnet, right? When their unlike poles are facing each other, but when two like poles are brought near each other, the repulsion will be experienced. So, this can be used as a surest test for magnetism. That is why it is called repulsion is the surest test for a magnet, okay? Now, what is magnetic field, children? Magnetic field we have... Uh, in this picture you can see magnetic field by this activity you read by yourself detect the magnetic field around a bar magnet see this picture magnetic field we have uh, read that on placing a magnetic compass on a table it is observed that the needle rest in north south direction now if a bar magnet is placed on the table near the magnetic compass we observe that the magnetic needle of compass swings and then rests in a direction other than north pole, north and south pole. Now, if we place the magnetic compass at a different points, then what happened? Around the bar magnet, we observe that the direction in which the magnetic needle of a compass rests changes. Okay, you can see this picture. This shows that the space around the magnet bar magnet has a property to influence the magnetic needle of the compass. This space around a bar magnet in which the magnetic compass get influenced is called a magnetic field. Okay. So, electromagnet discover of the electromagnet in this manner only. You see here this picture. Electromagnets. Discovered that there is a magnetic field around every wire carrying an electric current. This discovery has been one of the most fruitful achievement in the history of physical science. No? Okay. Now, you can see this. This was the discovery of electromagnet which is widely used. Whenever we ring an electric bell, run a motor, talk over a telephone or listen to a transistor, we make use of the magnetic field. Produced by the current carrying wire. Electromagnets are also used in fans, motors, mixer, air condition, etc. They are used for lifting the heavy iron loads also. So, what, how it works children and uh, what is the principle? So, first of all understand principle. If an insulated copper wire is wound around a cylindrical cardboard of length much more than its diameter. We get a cylindrical coil as shown in this picture. When the end of the coil are joined to a dry cell and a current is passed in it. Where is the dry cell? Here. Okay. And the cylindrical coil current carrying current behaves like a magnet. It produces a magnetic field around it. This magnet is called electromagnet. Okay. So, when you will uh, just uh, see the here in picture in dry cell when it will pass the current it will behave like a magnet children the magnetic polarities at the end of the electromagnet depend on the direction of current in its coil and it determined by the clock rule described below what is clock rule north and south polarities n and s depending on the direction of of flow of current direction of flow of current north to south current will pass 
this is insulated wire this is soft iron rod okay so maybe in your book given activity or not i don't know let's let me see hmm polarity of the electromagnet this is the polarity of the electromagnet can be found by observing the direction of the current flowing in the wire at both the ends the end in, uh, in which the current flows in the clockwise direction in the south pole of the electromagnet and end in which the current flows in the anti clockwise direction in the north pole so in this manner reversing the direction of current in the electromagnet the poles will also be reversed okay so properties of electromagnet you read and uh, this activity read it you understand okay next electric bell will understand later uses of electric electromagnet is very important an electromagnet is used as a electric motor loud speaker etc you read this one okay it is used by the doctor for de detecting and treating various ailments used for making strong and permanent magnets okay children up to here revise it properly okay